My name is Howard Weissman. I was uh, born and raised in Chicago. I've uh, been at AccuQuote 16 years this October. And I've been selling life insurance uh, for the 16 years that I've been here. And prior to coming here, I sold health insurance for seven years. I, uh, I am married. Uh, I have two children. Uh, I have a son who's 39. I have a daughter who's 35. Uh, my son is a uh, genetic counselor. My uh, daughter is in the food services business. Uh, my wife and I will be married 40 years this October. My, my hobbies, per se, uh, I'm into sports. I, I, am a, uh, I collect sports memorabilia. I have been chasing autographs since I was a kid. I remember the, my biggest thrill was as a kid, um, I sent a letter uh, back in the 50s to Jackie Robinson. I, for whatever reason, and don't ask me why, I was always a big Brooklyn Dodgers fan. And as a kid, Jackie Robinson was my favorite player. And I had uh, sent him a, uh, a letter asking for an autograph. And uh, it was about a month later, uh, I received a baseball in the mail signed by the whole 54 Brooklyn Dodgers team. Life insurance is a very, very important part of, uh, of a person's life. Uh, as an example, um, you know, I, I know an individual whose best friend, uh, they lived next door to one another for many, many years. They grew up together. They got married together. They bought homes that were right next door to each, each other. They had kids together. And one of the guys had, had purchased life insurance and, and the other one said, nah, it's not important. I'm not worried about it. And he was the one that dropped dead of a massive heart attack playing softball with his best buddy at the age of 39. So uh, this individual said, I, I, I never, all the years we talked about it, and I said, you're, you're a fool for not having it. And then he said, I never forgave him after he died in terms of what he did to his family. So is it important? Damn right it's important, okay? It's interesting that I, all, in all the years I've been here, uh, I talk to a lot of women, a lot of wives who call on behalf of their husbands because they're tired of arguing with their husband about buying life insurance and the husband saying, ah, yeah, I'll take care of it. It's not important right now. So the wives call up and put the application in for the husband. Um, I had a, a gentleman I wrote an application on and um, he was declined. And he was declined because he had an elevated PSA hadn't seen a doctor in maybe two years. And um, I said to him, get to your doctor, call, you know, get a, get a hold of a urologist, call, make an appointment and go see him, find out what's going on. And he called me back about three weeks later and he said to me, uh, well, he said, I'm not gonna buy insurance from you. He said, but thanks for saving my life. Because he was diagnosed with prostate cancer and they went in and did surgery. And I said, listen, it's not the end of it, okay? Six months or a year after surgery, call me. We can still, you know, if, if the numbers are, work out, everything is fine, we can still get you a policy. And he called me a year later and uh, we got him a policy with Prudential at a, at a fairly decent rate. Biggest piece of advice for people like that don't have life insurance that I could possibly give them is if you are at all insurable, get it. No ifs, ands, or buts. If you have a wife, if you have children, if you have debt, if you have a mortgage, whatever, get it. Because nobody ever knows when they're either not gonna be here tomorrow morning or not wake up the next morning, okay? And people say to me, well, you know, my family's very healthy. Uh, there's no cancer in my family. There's no heart disease. My parents lived into their 90s. I'm not gonna be dying anytime soon. But they all seem to forget about all the people that get killed in car crashes, airplane crashes, bus crashes, stepping off the curb and getting hit by a taxi cab, okay? You don't have to develop a disease to die. You can get up in the morning and be dead four hours later because you stepped in front of something and didn't see it coming. I'm Howard Weissman, and I'm your AccuQuote agent.